What's up and good afternoon guys. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Got another video today about this little baby, SCT Tuner, um, off of a five star tuning is where I got mine. Um, you can believe you can get them quite a, a few places, but I got mine about a year ago and I figured why not just do a video and kind of a uh, review 12 months later, see how I like it. I love it. So we're going to be jumping over here and once again working on the uh, F-150. You guys seem to uh, like the videos, or at least the view content, um, or the number of views, I should say, with the uh, the truck and the motorcycle. Seems to get the most views, so I'm just going to kind of continue down that path, get videos of those. Um, just did pick up some four-wheelers, me and my kids, four-wheelers. Um, got a new 12-foot trailer, so who knows, maybe we'll do a video on that, or maybe not, I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and jump over here to the truck, and um, I'll kind of give you, for those of you who don't know, really how these things work. I'll uh, do a quick little uh, how-to video, if you will. I won't go into like everything that these things do, but um, at least the main things that you will use if you uh, have one or intend on getting one. So the first thing you wanna do is just stick the uh, key into your ignition, turn the ignition on, and this little guy has a little ECU plug, and you're just gonna plug it right down in there into your uh, plug. And this thing should boot up. There it is. Right to the main menu. Turn the volume and air down here. So uh, in a little bit later in this video, I'm gonna actually be doing a little pull with this truck, um, show you the performance. But this is the tuner, real super, super simple how to use. Uh, this is the main menu here. Um, like I said there's, if you uh, get one of those suction cups, you can uh, mount it to like your windshield up here and run the uh, gauges, uh, kind of see what your truck's doing while you're driving it. For me, um, there's no, uh, it's a naturally aspirated, there's no turbos or superchargers that I need to be worried about air fuel ratio. So I don't ever use this uh, on the dash. I just plug it in when I want to tune it, throw it back in the center console there. So, um, uh, like I said, when, if you get one of these, you can play around with like the vehicle info, vehicle functions, play through the, the gauges that it shows. There's obviously better videos online than what I'm really going to do here. But um, this is basically how I use it. Again, you go to program vehicle. Right now, I do have a tune on it. So obviously, it's giving me the option to return to stock. Um, but basically, if it was stock right now, you'd go in here and hit continue. Yes, the key's on, two to three seconds. Um... When you, uh, like I said, I got mine from Five Star Tuning. You can get a number of different tunes. The five that I, six, six that I chose was the 87 Economy um, and Performance Tow, uh, 93 Performance and Performance Tow, and then obviously E85. Right now I've got it set up on the E85 Performance. That's by far the most aggressive tune that I got. It's also the one that I use um, the most basically the main difference is uh you know from the performance toe to the performance i personally don't really notice a difference um but then again i'm not ever towing anything super heavy um the 87 economy is kind of cool it just keeps the truck in a higher uh, higher gear it's uh, short shifts so you keep that fuel mileage up um the 80 or e85 performance and 93 you know those are a little bit more aggressive uh, as far as like transmission shifts are more crisp um, it does rev it out, you know, each gear revs out a little bit higher in the RPM range, which you'll see later in the video. Um, so you can click on the performance. Like I said, it's got, is the one that I've got set up on the truck now. Um, a couple other things that it gives you options when you're flying through. Um, you can change, you know, axle ratios if you have bigger gears in the back end. Um, turn the speed limiter off. Um, you can also change, like, you know, how high you want the engine to rev in neutral or drive. So... Um, but my favorite thing is you can change the uh, revolutions of a tire, um, especially if you don't have factory tires like mine. I have 35 by 12 and a half 20s on here. And uh, before I got the tuner, it definitely, the uh, speedometer was really thrown off. So uh, that's a really good, uh, you know, option that you can uh, play around with. Um, even though it says 33.9 inches, uh, I went on Google and found a calculator. And if you type in, I actually measured the exact inches of these tires and put it in this little Google calculator and it gave me 595 revolutions. So uh, that's obviously what I chose. And now my speedometer is back to uh, 
what the hell did I just do? Anyways, um, so when you go through this, you select it, click back, and um, uh, and then obviously you hit select tune, and then it'll do it. But like I said, I already have the tune on here, so that's uh, pretty much how you know a, a crash course of how it works. Once I hit the tune. I go and toss this thing back in the center console. So as far as uh, performance mods on my truck, I do have a stage two AFE intake under the hood. Um, I do have uh, newer spark plugs, NGKs. Um, I gapped them a little bit tighter than stock, so not that I'm really gonna feel the performance, but that's what I did on you know my previous cars and the vet that I had, I always kind of gapped them a little bit tighter for uh, um, a little bit better performance. Um, I do have the Corsa catback exhaust on here. Love the Corsa. I did a separate video on that. So if you're interested on a broken in after 12 months of having it on this truck, um, definitely go check that out. It's hot today. It's like 90 degrees. Um, let's see. So we got the, the Corsa exhaust covered. Uh, and I've got the uh, intake in the front. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, performance mods, if you will. Um, you know, it, it's got a suspension lift, but I feel like that's goes the opposite for performance when it comes to street ability um one thing i'll note is uh pretty cool if you are interested in looking at getting an intake for your truck mine is the 5.0 liter f-150 however i ordered an intake off of uh ebay and when it arrived it was actually for the 6.2 liter uh ford motor um i told them about it um and then uh like I said, I was going to send it back, but I figured in the meantime, I'll just keep it on the truck and see how it does, if it even fit. Turns out it does fit. So here it is. So this is the uh, AFE power intake. Again, this is for a 6.2 liter, not the 5.0, but with minor modifications, it does work. It fits with the air box. Obviously, it's very dirty. I got to clean it. Um, and you can see down here, there's one uh, mount that obviously isn't used because it's not intended for this motor. Um, the other thing I did notice is when I purchased this intake, I thought it was a little weird because this intake was only 150 bucks on eBay. And any other intake, whether it be K&N, AFE, uh, Air Raid, all those were, you know, they were $350, $400 range. And this one was only a buck fifty. So I got it to work and saved a couple hundred bucks, which I'm happy with. So uh, that's pretty much the uh, ins and outs of this. Like I said, we're going to hop right into a... Uh, a driving video uh, all right guys and gals back in the old f-150 5.0 let's see what you can do Mexico just ripping the old truck. Um, so um, yeah, that's uh, that was a nice little pull, uh, zero to uh, seventy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. And the one last thing I'll note: the only downside I've noticed. Granted, I don't know if it's because of the intake I have on this truck, but when you're at a stoplight and you're not really getting on the on the gas too hard. Um, I do notice when you have, especially the E85 tune on there, when you take off from a, from a red light, it does have a, a jerking motion um, with low throttle. Um, and as soon as you get into the gas, it's, it's nice and smooth. It's almost like it doesn't like driving slow. So that's the one, I guess, downside, you know, when I have the kids and the wife in the car, sometimes I'll return it to factory and take the tune off just so it's a little bit more drivable and, you know, it's not so aggressive, if you will. But uh, that's, that'll pretty much wrap it up. And uh, please remember to like, subscribe, um, give me any kind of feedback, positive or negative, I'll receive both. Um, and anyways, thanks for watching. Enjoy the uh, clip here. Let's see what you can do.